up in the air. And the other one. Does it have hiccups? No, maybe it's just One more time on the machine, the picture's going to get very grainy. I need it grainy to get this measurement real quick. Look at the hand. That's it moving its chest. Mm -hmm. What's the heartbeat? Give me just a minute. Second trimester, we start kicking. Chill it out a little. You need to get some sleep. When you're up in my ribs, you need to just calm down a little. I can see scary alien face. It's supposed to look like that. That's completely normal. But I totally believe that's inspiration for every alien ever made. <laughs> because it looks just like them. It did for a moment. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I'll say Michael. So that whole thing is smaller than an orange. Yes. That's crazy. It's supposed to be the size of a peach this week. Is that what it is this week? Yeah. I can give you a measurement, but I can't defer to defer. Defer. Yeah. <laughs> There's an app for that. <laughs> I can tell you at 20 weeks it's a banana. And the only reason I can tell you that is because it was actually a test question when I was in school. And I thought it was the most ridiculous test question I had ever seen, and so I remember it. It's still small. It looks like it's hitting its thumb. It like just brought its hand down. Hitting its thumb. Oh, don't do that. Are you trying to measure the height now? No, I need there's a little bit of fluid on the back of baby's neck. You know, everybody's got that, uh -huh. that fluid that cushions their skin from the rest of their body. That's what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for it specifically on the back of the neck. Oh, just and what they found is that babies that have a genetic defect tend to have a thicker space on the back of their neck. The good news is we're having trouble finding that, so. Yes. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> it can't be that big. It's so funny that you're over in this area now because last time we were over in the left ovary and that's when I felt the pinching when I found out I was pregnant, it was in the left ovary. Oh, yeah? The baby must have switched over to the other side. Or he's just yeah. escaping. He switched sides. No, I no, flipped the... What's the abnormal, like double the size? Anything over three millimeters, um, they consider abnormal. And what was this? 1.5. Oh, so that's okay. half of. Yeah. Now, this is only half of the test. Right. Um, we have to wait for the blood work to come back as well. But at least my half looks normal. Not to scare, is it? 50 50 if this is normal and the other one, or it's, is this a good indication? It's, it's, unusual that it comes back abnormal when my part is abnormal. Yeah. Or you mean when yours is normal? Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I haven't had enough And vice versa. Sometimes this is abnormal and it comes back normal. Yes, absolutely. So it's probably like 75% or better. It's fine. 90. Uh, 90, that's good. Nine. Well, those defects aren't genetic, are they? The ones that they're testing for necessarily? Um, they can. They, they're they more a marker for genetic problems. Like nothing runs in the family. family. So it would be unusual if something came back here for them. I can't say it doesn't happen, but. Right. So everything else is healthy, so. Yeah. Keep little baby. Oh, legs. Mm. 
Let's get that for me. Could it be tall? Look how cute. Tall? Is it long for its age? Let's <laughs> finish. <laughs> It looks like its hands are behind its head. And there is relaxing. one right there in front of the face. And there's the other one up in the forehead. It's so funny how he's like moving himself. He's just talking. Started peeing yet? Yes. Yes, we're going to go with yes because that's an easier explanation. <laughs> look at the leg. Hmm? Look at that cute look at the leg. leg. Now, sometimes can you tell the gender at 16 weeks? Yes. Problem is, is I don't see you at 16 weeks. It looks like a boy. So its legs are to the left of me. Flutters that you feel. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Like again, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it feels more really like bubbles and mm -hmm. flutters, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a weird. Am I nervous? Am I hungry? Am I gonna throw up? I don't know what's going on in my belly right now. <laughs> Six and a half centimeters. Oh wow. So if twins would be double that, like in terms of space and stuff? Grandma, I'll do that for you. <laughs> They're JPEG files, so they should flow really easy. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like a baby. It is a baby. So do we get a printed picture or two? No. Oh, you forgot your disc. You're lucky I'm doing this for you. Hey. Okay. <laughs> of course you're <laughs>
Yeah, we're so going good. that way. <laughs> it's like 13 weeks, so we won't be back in here for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too much. I thought we were going to stop there for Nope. So this is like now the time where it's the biggest gap between now and No. Um, because when, when we do your 20 week one, then you get another one, but not until 30 weeks. Is that in June yet? Or July? No. Well, 16 weeks is three weeks from now. Oh, no. So at the end of May? Uh, and then when you have the 20, I'll be gone. Yeah. Yeah. See. You won't know. That's why I work it out. You won't know until it pops out. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just be out of luck, Grandma. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Sorry. Oh, it's for me? Oh, no blood work? Yes, blood yeah. work. And you see the doctor, too.